welcome to rainbow network media please kindly subscribe to this channel for interesting news thank you all for listening reverend father agk mbaka has been in the news for some days now following his declaration that president muhammad buhari resigned or get impeached his statement came years after he declared that President Muhammad Buhari was a prayer answer. According to the Catholic priest, God anointed Saul, made him a king, and took away the kingship from him when he went astray. Galba Shehu reacted to Reverend Father Mbaka calls for President Muhammad Buhari to resign, stated that he is only making such a call because the federal government turned him down after he came to the villa with three contractors as a compensation for his campaign. Meanwhile, Reverend Father H.K. Mbaka has come out to reply his critics as he shared his own side of the story. He stated that they were only angry with him because he was speaking truth to power and a messenger of Adonai. Mbaka revealed in his sermon that he has never collected a dime from Gabashew or anyone in Asub Villa. He stated that the three contractors that Gaba Shehu was speaking about were three white men who wanted to help Nigeria tackle insecurity and unemployment, yet their efforts were turned down. Mbaka revealed that he was wrongly accused because he spoke the truth. He went on to say that they should talk as much as they like, that he is not even in any social media platform. He doesn't have any of their number. He emphasized that prior to the emergency of Muhammadu Buhari as Nigeria's president, he has been empowering many. He is an employer. He said he expected the federal government to empower many and since he who got no biological son is feeding many praying for their house paying for their house rents and school fees Mbaka went on to say that taking his matter to a pope francis will only favor him he said people don't understand that canon law entails According to the Catholic priest, presenting his matter before Pope Francis will only earn him a promotion because he spoke, because he spoke against bad governance. He called on those speaking ill about him to desist from doing so. He cautioned them to be mindful of their choice of words. Mbaka felt they are was no need for anyone to be angry simply because he said Namdekano is a good man and blessed him. He stated that God has already blessed Kano by giving him the privilege to breathe in air and also be alive in the land of the living. He revealed that Namdekano, by the virtue of being a human, is his brother and he is a father to Namdekano by the virtue of him being a priest. So guys, uh, Reverend Father Mbaka has finally cleared the coast about uh, the accusation laid on him by Garba Sheu. Uh, he said he has never went or been to the villa with any uh, aim of getting a contract from the government and he said he only went there with three contractors um, with three white men to uh, help tackle the security uh, problem that is ravaging the insecurity problem that is ravaging the country and even the three white men were turned down by the government so guys uh whatever that is your own thought concerning this news 
let's drop by at the comment section and please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more updates thank you all for listening